Hi, I'm Tom from Sea Jewel Marine. Today we're going to go over how to adjust the time delay in your on your bilge pump to maximize the amount of water coming out of it. What you need is a regular Phillips head screwdriver to remove the lid and a small screwdriver to adjust the trim pot. Okay, today we're going to show you how to adjust the time delay in the solar bilge pump from Sea Jewel. First thing is we're going to take off the cover, unscrew these four tabs, remove the cover, place on the side. That is the time delay in this plastic watertight box. So you know, you see the battery, you got the pump with the float switch. This is a spacer with a screw in the side here. We're going to unscrew this, sp this spacer and you'll be able to access the time delay. So, on the side here, here is the screw. So now we're going to, I put my finger here, hold it in place, unscrew the screw, take the screw out, pull the spacer out. Now, this wires come out of the way and this will just slide out and then there is two keyed screws inside there the time delay relay pops out and you can see the two screws that hold it in next step we'll be adjusting this so we are now going to unscrew each one of these screws to access this waterproof cover. Once the four screws are removed, take off the cover. And that is the trim pot that adjusts the time. I'm going to zoom in for you. So what you want to use is a, a trim pot screwdriver or a small screwdriver to get in here and turn this time delay to change it. So if you go clockwise that increases the time delay. If you go counterclockwise it decreases the time delay. There is a range from 48 seconds to 463 seconds. So if you go all the way to the left or counterclockwise, it's 48 seconds. If you go all the way to the right, it's 463 seconds. Once again, I have it set to about uh, two minutes or 120 seconds. And this trim pot is very sensitive. So I don't think it hurts to let the pump run a little longer, but if it's not running long enough, then you can very minutely move it a eighth of a turn and then try it. Once you've readjusted the time delay, now you want to install the cover back on. Once the cover's on, you can pull it, push it to the side, and in here you can see there's a little a float switch or a manual bilge pump turn on. So you can turn that on and then you can check the time it the time delay is set for. So I'm going to turn this on use the stopwatch or your iPhone or a, any other phone and time how long you did the adjustment before and how long it's time after the Once you're happy with the time that you set Take your time delay and you're going to put it back in, put it on these screws and then it just locks in like that. Then you're going to take your spacer and you're going to put it in. Now what I do is take my finger and I kind of hold it all against the wall, line the screw up on the side and then screw it in. Once it, then you screw it in, and that stops it from moving back and forth. 
what you want to do is put these wires back in the way they were. These are watertight connectors once again. And make sure the wires are nice and flush. You take your solar panel, make sure none of the wires are in the way. Now you gotta also remember there's a cutout for this pump in the solar panel that only goes on one way. Put that back, put your latches back on, and now you've adjusted the time delay to where you want it.